Welcome to Look Learn Lead. Kindly subscribe and press the bell button for updates. Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about MCQs of database, and there are some questions of Oracle also. Uh, before proceeding to the MCQs, kindly subscribe our channel for further updates. Okay, let's move on to the questions. Uh, first is in every 3NF, 3NF is third normal form. In 3NF, every attribute is non transitively and fully dependent on the ca every candidate key. That is, every here it should be every non prime attribute. Every non prime attribute is fully functionally dependent on every non prime attribute is fully functionally dependent on the primary key is 2NF. Okay. And every non prime attribute is non transitively and fully functionally dependent on the candidate key is 3NF. So it is non prime is the answer. Okay, let's move to the next question. What is the error 404 or not found error? What does this mean? Okay, this means requested HTML is file is not available. No, it is not. Uh, the server could not find the requested URL. It is. It is the answer. Okay, uh, the none of the op, none of all the above is not there, so this would be our answer. Okay, the server could not find the requested URL. Okay, which one of the following provides the ability to query information from the database and to insert tuples into delete tuples from and modify tuples in the database? That is data manipulation language. Okay, whenever we talk about modifying tuples, that is we have already have a relation and you. We already have a scheme of a relation. You have to insert something to the relation, or you have to delete something in the relation, or you want to update something in the relation. In this case, you would be always using data manipulation language. That is, you are manipulating the data. M is for manipulation. You are manipulating the data. Whenever you want to create something, suppose a create command, you have to create a new table. That is a data definition language. Okay. Uh, let's move on to the next. The transmission control protocol is. We all know it is connection oriented. Okay, it is three way handshaking is there. It is kind oriented. First is right. It is true about uh, TC uh, TCP UDP is connectionless, whereas TCP is connection oriented. Uses a three way handshake to establish a connection. Yes, it is also there. Receives data from application as a single stream. Yes, it it is a single stream only. So there are three properties which is connection oriented, three way handshaking, and single stream. So all of the above mentioned would be the answer. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Next is an ER model. Weak entity is represented by, okay, weak entity is an entity which does not uh, have its own um, as much attributes to define its primary key. Okay, it is dependent on a strong entity. Okay, so weak entity is represented by a double rectangle. So our answer would be C, it is a double rectangle. And a weak relationship is represented by a double diamond. It is a weak relationship and it is a weak entity. Okay, let's move on. This is a double rectangle is answer. When an entity is related with itself, that is an, when an entity is related with itself. Okay, this is what it, what is this is called when when there are, there is two entities, then it is binary relation. Okay, when there are three, that is ternary. Okay, when the entity is related with itself, then it is known as recursive relationship. Okay, answer would be a recursive. Then, an entity set that does not have sufficient attribute does not have sufficient attributes to perform to form a primary key. Okay, we all know it is weak entity. As I said, key does not it, it is its primary key is made by including the entity including the primary key of the strong entity. Weak entity is dependent on some entity which is called the strong entity, and weak entity is primary key. Weak entity's primary key is formed by uh, strong entity's primary key plus some attributes of some attributes of weak entity okay uniquely defining attribute attributes of weak entity okay so the answer would be b that is a weak entity set next question which command is used to delete all the records and does not remove the structure before going to this i would be uh, discussing about the, all the commands here uh, the command generally uh, uh, they are asked uh, uh, comparing to one another are drop truncate and delete okay so see uh, we we have two types of we will be discussing about DML and DDL. We always talk about these two. Okay, so the drop and truncate, drop and truncate are DML. You have to remember this; it is very important. Drop and truncate are DML, and delete is DDL. Okay, drop and truncate are DML, and delete delete is DDL. Okay, and next is. 
uh, what is drop drop it uh, removes the table it removes the table removes table removes the whole table everything truncate what does truncate do it removes all rows okay and what does delete do delete removes rows it also removes rows removes rows okay on where condition it uses a where condition okay where condition okay so what is uh, sorry 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 delete is dml you have to remember this and drop is ddl okay ah uh, okay see how uh, ddl is data definition language definition is something which has to do with the whole table okay whole relation you have to remember like this so drop what does drop do it would remove the whole table from the uh, system so it would be ddl data definition definition it uh, deals with the whole table truncate it removes all rows all rows also it deals with the whole table so drop and truncate would be data definition languages okay and delete there would be some rows only deleted based on the where condition so it is data manipulation language we are just manipulating our table we are just changing our table using delete okay so delete it can be rolled back whereas drop and truncate these cannot be rolled back sorry these cannot be rolled back okay cannot be rolled back okay so there is uh, what is that we have ddl and dml in dml we have drop and truncate drop removes the table whole table truncate removes all rows okay the schema would be there and these two are ddl commands they cannot be rolled back dml delete is a dml command it is manipulation command it removes row based on the where condition and it can be rolled back now the question is which sql command delete all the records and does not remove the structure okay the term does not remove the structure that is truncate it deletes all rows okay it does not remove the structure whereas drop it removes the structure also the answer would be b truncate okay let's move on to the next question which of the following is a ddl command okay we all know we, i as i said which of the following is a ddl command drop is ddl okay and delete is dml you have to remember this so answer is drop okay next question shortcut to create a new folder it is first one control plus shift plus n you have to remember this it was asked last year so this year it won't be asked but this type of question can be asked so you can revise these types of questions okay next which of the following component comprises the oracle architecture oracle architecture okay uh, oracle architecture comprises of three things that is database processes okay table spaces and data files that is all the three mentioned in the question these a b and c these all comprises oracle architecture so answer would be d all of the above next one is next question what is the use of extent in oracle so before this uh, we should know what is extent okay extent is a logical unit of database storage and it is used for contiguous data block, block allocation contiguous data block allocation so what what is the advantage of contiguous data block allocation it minimizes waste minimizes it minimizes store wastage of waste of storage waste of storage okay so answer would be here which is related to here is c c is the answer okay what is the use of extent it minimizes the amount of wasted storage okay next question which area of pga stores the binding variable and runtime buffer information what is pga pga is program uh, program global area we would uh, have another term which is system global area we would uh, learn it uh, in further questions only pga is program global area program global area is non shared memory region you have to remember this it, there may be a question that contains data and control information only for oracle process it is based on only for oracle Uh, process so it would be stored in private sql area 
it is one deep oracle process so it is in, would be in private sql area and it is created by oracle database when oracle process started okay uh, that is program global area it is created whenever a oracle process is started and it is is only for the oracle process so it would be there in private sql area so answer would be b okay next question in oracle which which of the following are the types of segments there are four types of segments in oracle let's see that is a data segment index segment rollback segment and tempor temporary segment so your yeah, answer would be c that is a data segment okay there are four types of segment you have to remember the names of all these segments next the redo log buffer and shared pool all the elements of uh, there are the elements of sc sga okay uh, we can see what are the other elements of sga also sga is system global area okay and it contains shared pool it is there no it is not there okay uh, shared pool okay it is there shared pool and database buffer you have to remember this okay shared pool database buffer cache uh, java pool and redo log buffer okay so redo log buffer is there so answer would be sj that is d okay. next question which command is used to select only one copy see select only one copy that is a duplicate copies are removed okay in each set of duplicate rows okay the answer is select distinct when we use select distinct the duplicate rows are uh, removed which of the following is not a logical database structure logic logical database structure we have hierarchical relational network object oriented okay in this chain is not there so answer is chain is already shown a uh, tree can be taken as hierarchical okay chain is not there next if it travels a binary search tree what would it is a question of database uh, sorry um data structure it's okay what would result in ascending order it is in order it is already there uh, so in order is what we do in in order is left root and right you would be taking it like when we use in order it would give ascending order okay it would give ascending order okay next which of the command is used to remove the table see remove the table means we have to remove the whole table from the database so it is the drop command in delete command uh, not whole table okay not whole table not whole table it is just where it, it deletes the rows from where clause deletes rows okay whereas drop command it removes the whole table so answer is b next one the next question in sql grant command is used to okay it is used to uh, grant privileges roles object privileges these all thing the answer is c it is the uh, use of sql grant commands okay so this was all about uh, the sql questions questions in database mm, thank you please subscribe